Alright guys, welcome back to another video and uh, for the first time in a long time, an acoustic guitar. So before we get into what this is, specs, sounds and all that kind of thing, I just want to sort of say, you know, the angle that I'm coming from uh, in this video with this guitar. So for me, I'm an electric guitar player through and through. That's where all my sort of love for the guitar is in electric. It's very likely I'll never, you know, switch to acoustic and go down that path because you can only do so much and like I say, electric for me is just way more comfortable, that's where I'm at kind of thing. But as we all know, we're always chasing tones and sounds and different tools. So owning an acoustic guitar is, is almost essential because when you need it, you need it kind of thing. But whereas an acoustic guitar player will have multiple different body shapes for multiple different sounds, much as I've got different electrics for the same reason, um, what I want to kind of figure out here is, is a parlor shaped guitar, really that's the guitar for an electric player if they're just going to have one acoustic, just something that they're going to find much easier to play. So that's kind of where I'm at with this video. So I'll come back to that point later, but let's have a, a closer look at this guitar first. So I'll bring you in a bit closer because you can take in some of the details because you've got like abalone uh, rosette just there on the binding. You've got multiple layers of binding just on the edge, if I can, um, maybe you can just see that abalone sparkling away there. And as I say, parlor size guitar, and it is uh, African mahogany top, back and sides, and that's all solid. So it's completely solid mahogany, this guitar. Moving on to the neck there, again, is mahogany, uh, one piece as well. It's super skinny, really, really small, even E to E. It's very small. I mean, I can get my thumb over to like the G string pretty much. And I have, you know, average size hands at best. So super small, skinny neck. Uh, it is a rosewood fingerboard with that 12, uh, 12 fret inlay just there. Really, really small frets. Sort of vintage style frets that you get on a, a lot of acoustic guitars. And the nut is bone and so is the saddle. I uh, just want to show you about the saddle as well, a little thing that uh, Alvarez do. So can you see how it's sort of where the ebony bridge pins are? It kind of steps down. That is so that you can sand the um, saddle down to get a lower action, but retain some string tension uh, across, the, across the saddle kind of thing. Because obviously if that was all flat, we'd have next to no brake angle on the bridge. So really clever little bit of design that just there. Um, only other thing to sort of show you is the slotted headstock, which is very classic, looks very, very good. And these sort of gold uh, Grover-ish style tuners, um, which I will tell you straight away are not great, but we'll get back to that later on. So I think now let's go on to some sounds. I've tried to do a bit of sort of heavy strumming, a little bit of picking, um, and then I'll come back and sort of, we'll address my point earlier, as well as sort of go over a few things about this guitar. <laughs>
All right, so you heard a little bit about uh, how it sounds. Um, there was nothing too fancy going on with the recording there. It was literally just that microphone straight in with a bit of reverb and that is it. I literally didn't have to do anything. It recorded, I mean, I haven't, as you know, recorded a lot of acoustic guitars, but for me, that was the easiest recording guitar acoustic wise that I've ever ever played it just it just sounded fine to me without any messing around and you know that sort of brings me on to the likes and dislikes so the likes it feels like a proper guitar it feels really well made I think it sounds good as I say I think it records good and it is arguably a little bit blingy for a, for an old-fashioned style guitar you know with all the abalone and the multiple binding uh, but nonetheless it looks very very good it does come with a nice bag as well sort of hard case slash bag um it, it's just i just think that you know it, it plays so easy if you're used to playing an electric guitar and i don't feel that i'm losing you know i don't feel like it's too quiet i don't feel like it's too bass heavy or too top endy it's just giving me the acoustic sound that I want to have now and again and find it easy to sit and play. And if that's what you're looking for and you've discounted parlor sized guitars up to now, then definitely start having a look because if you mainly play electric and you just want that sound just to have whenever you want to, you know, use it, just something easy to just play, check out parlors because I written them off for no real reason. I was kind of thinking, no, I want at least an auditorium or something. But this is great and i honestly have no reason no need for another guitar a um, couple of little dislikes though with the guitar that i will mention just out of you know being honest sort of thing this guitar really does feel like a high quality really nice guitar and it's just super weird why it's standard with these rubbish tuners i mean they hold tune you know that's their job so they do do their job but they feel horrendous to use they also have loads of dead spots in them you, you'll find dead spots when you're tuning it or changing strings uh, all the time and these tuners will not be on this guitar for very long i will change them uh, the minute i look into their exact sizes i'll order some more because they just don't fit a guitar this well uh well this nice i should say they just they're really out of place i don't know what alvarez were thinking uh with these but you know they're easy enough to change um, the only other thing i would say is this guitar uh, when it came from alvarez to the previous owner wasn't very well set up the the bridge was about three times higher than it is now there was loads of neck relief and the nut was too high as well so it wasn't an easy guitar to play straight out the box um, and that's worth noting because like i said this isn't you know a budget guitar so to say um, so yeah, they, they could definitely come a bit better set up. But after it's had all that done, and the eagle-eyed amongst you will have noticed uh, something funny with my strings, you'll notice that no wound G. So this is a extra light acoustic set on the E, A and D, and then a regular 10 to 46 on the G, B and E. And I just kind of did that as a little experiment really, just to see if it would become even easier to play. And you know, I've, I've actually really liked using it that way. Uh, next time around, I'll just go with a normal set of extra light um, acoustic strings um, and just leave the G on there. But it was a cool thing. I, I think it sounded fine. Let me know what you thought of the, uh, the sound comparisons. But really, there's only one thing left to say about this guitar, and that's to thank the person who gave it to me. Um, because this guitar was a gift. And, you know, I just want to say it's super, super grateful uh, to the person who gave that to me. So it'd be remiss of me to leave that out. So let me know what you think. And as I say, if, if you're an electric guitar player and you just keep selling acoustics, keep buying them and selling them, buying them and selling them because you can't get on with them, don't overlook parlor sized guitars because I won't be getting rid of this one, you know, at all or, or buying another one. This is, this is it. I've got my acoustic sound. So thank you for watching and I'll see you again on another video.